vlogs yeah it's you know what the thing is for me making vlogs like my weekly vlogs i be like i don't be thinking my my life is just interesting enough to be vlogging <laughs> does that make sense like i'm really boring as hell i like to be in the house you know i like to if i'm gonna do a vlog i want y'all to see me doing something like out and about or going out of town and that sort of thing so I don't know I'm like y'all ain't gonna be interested in me just <laughs> being at home are you you know so but anyhow we is back we back um making vlogs weekly vlogs look at my flyaways I got to bring that down is my lace showing how my lace doing today oh yeah it's lacing it's giving scalp <laughs> but um yeah so that's another reason why I haven't really been like picking up my camera weekly because I'm like I ain't doing shit you know what I mean but I'm like, fuck it. Y'all might just want to see a bitch face anyhow. <laughs> so, we are back in full effect. Where am I about to go right now? Um, see, I ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, okay? Um, but I do got to run some errands real quick and that sort of thing. And probably go grab us something to eat. I want to stop at this little vegan spot and um, get something to eat from there. And, yeah, that's just... Let's just get outside a little bit, you know what I mean? It's still a little chilly outside, burr. But, um, yeah, it's the ass assing, you know what I mean? I, I've been working out and shit, but I be feeling like, is my back fat showing? I'm terrified of back fat, I ain't gonna laugh, but. Woo, because, yeah. <laughs> feeling like it, looking like it, smelling like it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's all 2024 mood. That's it, that's all, okay? I had to come out and give me some air, you know what I mean? I be so, I be in the house all the time and I'm just like, let me, let me get outside. Let me listen to a little music, enjoy the atmosphere, then I go back home. <laughs> I'm talking about, they was eating me up on um, Twitter and Instagram about the video I posted on TikTok talking about how I've been single for six years and I'm ready to, you know, finally get back outside and start dating and, you know, I'm open to the idea of dating again and being in a relationship, right? They was, the man was eating me up. Oh, you've been six, single six years. That don't mean she ain't been having sex. She called bodies during that time. You know what I'm saying? Or what they were saying, um, oh, she really miserable. She can't find nobody to marry her. And don't nobody really want her. And all this other shit, she washed up. I was like, God damn. <laughs> I was like, God damn. How do y'all know? Y'all just, y'all just assuming things because of what you just, what I was saying, but still didn't hear what I was saying. Does that make sense? So it's like, during those six years, first off, let me clarify something. I think I said this before. My ex asked to marry me twice. You know what I'm saying? We were standing in front of the courthouse. This nigga was ready to, to make shit happen. You know what I mean? He wanted to marry me. He wanted me to have his last name. And don't get me wrong, if I would have did it, it would have been very beneficial. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It would have been very beneficial. You know, if we talk about finance concern, but I just couldn't, I didn't see forever with him. And I didn't want to get married just to say, oh, I am a wife or I'm married or any of that. I just, I didn't see forever with him. And so after that last time he asked, we both knew the relationship had to end, right? And that's, that's just what it was. And after that, like I told y'all before, I just kind of like indulged in myself. I didn't want to jump right back into no more relationships. I'm like, I want to take a little time out for myself and be selfish. That selfishness lasted six years. <laughs> I don't want no man coming in my life thinking he can tone me down. Nigga, turn me up. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Don't, don't try to t talk, 
don't tone me down and turn me down. Turn me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, that's what scares me the most. Now, I ha, I can I can make time for a man in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I can make time for a man in my life, but I still require certain things. Like, I like, I, I need my alone time. You know what I mean? I still like to go out and sit down and have me a bite to eat by myself or, you know, go out of town by myself or go to concerts by myself. It's still certain things that I would, would love to still enjoy doing alone. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know if, I don't know if a lot of men would be accepted to that. You know what I mean? Be accepted to that because here's my thing when it comes to relationships. We get so wrapped up and, oh, I want to be with my man. I want to be my woman all day, every day. No, not me. <laughs> not me. Go do something. You know what I'm saying? Go kick with your friends. Go work. Go do something. Let me miss you. So when we get together, it's just, oh, I haven't seen you all day. I haven't talked to you. I love you. That sort of thing. That's what I'm looking for. I don't want nobody smothering me. <laughs> Please, get, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want nobody smothering me. Right? And so it's just certain small little things that I, I require when jumping into another relationship again. And, um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm nervous. I'm excited. You know what I mean? Because you just never know. Like, I'm not looking for love, but that's when love seems to come knocking at your motherfucking door is when you're not looking. <laughs> I'm going to look out the people <laughs> and see, you know, but I'm just, that's what scares me the most, I guess, about being in relationships is like, I don't want to lose myself ever again. You know what I mean? Because a lot of us, we tend to lose ourselves. We get in these relationships and we don't even know who the hell we are no more. You know what I mean? Like we get so wrapped up in trying to please our significant other and our partner that we, we forget to please ourselves. You know what I mean? If you can't make yourself happy, you cannot make nobody else happy. You know what I mean? This is why I tell y'all all the time, like, man, why, why you single? Or if you, even if you're not single, if, if you're not single, you in a relationship, still go find a hobby, go find something that you enjoy doing. You know what I mean? Something that, that, that makes you happy because I feel like that's so important. And this is why a lot of people are miserable in these relationships because they don't have shit else to do. <laughs> they don't have nothing else to do. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, y'all, I just, I'm just, I'm nervous. You know, it's like, it's exciting and it's nervous. It's a nerve. It's nerve wracking, you know, because I get approached by men every time I leave my house. We on our magic smoothie this morning. <laughs> and that shit kicking in. Um, but I get approached by men every time I walk out my door. You know what I mean? And of course, all through my social media, my DMs are like flooded. <laughs> I don't even go in my DMs. It's just, it's, it's a headache looking at them DMs, baby, okay? But um, I get approached by men every time I you know, leave my house, right? And so when when men approach me, it's almost like, damn, is he the one? <laughs> Could he be the one? Is that is, is he the one? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of how I'm looking at shit now. But then once they open their mouth and they get to doing this, I'll be like, this nigga is definitely not the one. <laughs> Let me get the fuck off. He is not the one. I'm not interested, honey. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm just chilling. <laughs> But I just said I'm, I'm 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 open to the idea of going out on dates and you know being vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like oh my god, I can't believe I can't believe it. I'm going to end up being vulnerable with somebody. It's been a long time. <laughs> it's been a long time being vulnerable with somebody. You know what I mean? That's like so hard for me to do. It ain't hard, but it's just I haven't been doing it in a long time. I haven't been vulnerable with a man. Like you know what I mean? Like. I'm, I'm shy. <laughs> my lace, how my lace looking? Like a lace. <laughs> it is currently Saturday night, and I'm sitting here trying to get right. I'm like, what do I want to do tonight? I know I didn't really want to do no lounge or no club or no shit like that. Like, I got some girlfriends that's going to lounge tonight, and they're like, come on, go, go, go. And I'm like, look, I don't even feel like getting dressed up. I don't feel like putting no heels on, none of that. Then um, my homegirl, she's at her bar, so I'm going to run over there, holler at her real quick, chop it up, probably grab a bite to eat, something to drink, um, and then I'm probably going to skating tonight. Y'all know I'm into skating now. <laughs> I'm just really enjoying myself. Like, it's such a, it's such a good, such a good stress reliever, you know what I mean? Not stress reliever, but just more so, like, it's such a good time. How could you be mad on a pair of skates, like, 
you falling and laughing and it's just a vibe and groove into the music. It's just such a vibe for me. And I just enjoy that. It's so peaceful. You know, it's just like everybody's just doing their own thing. Motherfuckers ain't just standing, looking at each other and just staring. You know what I mean? I, I hate the atmosphere so much. I hate, I hate the club and even the lounges now. It's just getting too, like, it's too much for my anxiety. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't care for it no more. So, I just want to indulge in more activities, you know, whether it's skating, bowling, out of town. Um, I'm about to do a pottery class. You know what I mean? I'm going swimming, taking swimming lessons. Man, I'm about to learn how to swim. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on that kick, right? And I'm just trying to indulge more into, like, more activities and fun things to do, you know? Um, I don't really want to be tied down to always getting dressed and putting my heels on and that sort of thing. I don't, unless I'm going to an event. That's the only way I'm really wanting to get dressed this year is if I'm going to some form of event or that sort of thing. Other than that, I'm dressing down. I'm feeling comfy. I'm looking good. You know what I mean? Is the ass fat? Is it assy tonight? Yo, we better get on some skates. I told myself, I gave myself one month. One month will be this week. And um, I think I've been, I did good. I did good. I relearned how to skate, but learned how to skate even better now. So now I feel like I'm a skater in a sense, you know? But, um... Yeah, like, that's that's just what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just, I'm up in the air. I'm up. I'm woke. I, I, I'm on my magic smoothie. I drank some, some magic smoothie today. <laughs> so, I'm not sleepy at all. I feel like I'm, I can go, 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 go. Um, I got some things accomplished this today. Today was just an overall, it was an overall good day. And uh, it was a productive day. Not overall. It was productive. Productive, productive, productive. And so, um... Yeah, that's just, that's just what it is right now. And I'm just, I'm living and I'm excited. I'm geeking, really. But, yeah, so, I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. I don't want to, I don't want to do too much tonight. You know what I mean? Like, I've really been in such a grind mode and trying to save some money and just kind of like, I've been cooking at home. <laughs> I'm back cooking at home. You know what I mean? Like, uh-uh, now. -uh, nah. I was looking at my report and my bank statements and stuff and my credit card statements. I'm like, I spend so much money on food. So much money on food. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm losing my fucking mind. I need to go back to noodles. <laughs> I need to go back to the ramen packs. <laughs> I need to go back to the pack of noodles. I'm sitting here like I'm motherfucking, you know what I mean? Like Jeff Be Bezos. What's his name? The Amazon nigga. I feel like I'm, I'm big balling. No, I need to cut back. So I've been cutting. You've been cutting back, honey, because... I got some plans this year to do and some things to do with my money. So it's just like, just, just trying to find fun things to do because it's like when I be going out to lounges and stuff and bars sometimes, I just, I get so bored. I be like, ugh. <laughs> but sometimes I be like, I want to get out just to listen to some music and get into the atmosphere a little bit, you know, and, um, I still be wanting to come home. So I find myself wanting to do more activities now, like just, Give me activities to do. I don't I don't want to really indulge in just going to no lounge, really sitting in no section, watching everybody walk past, seeing it, what everybody got on, people staring at you, staring at them, they looking too hard, now you ready to go, maybe you need your gun. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just it's just something that I'm not into no more. And I'm just more like, let me let me indulge in some some fun activities now, and um, that's just what I what I've been on lately, y'all. I've been having a ball. I ain't gonna lie, I've been having a time in my life. <laughs> I've been having a time in my life. I haven't been able to. I haven't really been recording. I haven't been like really posting too much on my social medias. I just been I've been living in a moment lately, you know, and it's been nice. It's been real fun. It's been nice, and um, yeah. So that's what we are gonna do tonight, y'all. Let's get out of here and start our night. It is currently 10.30. And, um, yeah, we about to see what's going on tonight. Okay. I have to go skating. How do I look? How do I look? <laughs> How do I look now? Okay. Um, I'm feeling, my waist is feeling pretty small today. Despite me being actually bloated as hell. Maybe because I ate a good salad and, you know, whatnot. But I start my fast tomorrow. I already juiced. And yeah, but I'm feeling I'm kind of small. <laughs> I've been working out and skating, so you know your girl, her body gonna be stacked this summer. This summer gonna be a little different for your girl. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. So 
She cute or whatever. That's all I'm to my friend's grand opening of her new storefront and it's so exciting it's just like oh I'm so inspired <laughs> so inspired she is like I told her she's 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 gonna be my mentor and um she is the sweetest person ever and I just I just love her so much so we're gonna go and show our support of course have us um, a nice toast and yeah, this is the vibe. What am I giving today? I got my fedora on, my nigga blockers, my pixie, and my peacoat. It's giving, it's giving rich auntie vibes today. <laughs> That's what it's giving. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. Something cute and simple for the night. Look at my, my battery is always dying! <laughs> always dying. I might have just used my phone tonight, but just let me motherfucking love you. Yeah, it's my girl birthday tonight, so we all gonna meet up and have some sushi, drinks, and booty club, probably. <laughs> they love going to the booty club, they top the night. And um yeah, she cute. Happy birthday, Corey. Yeah. 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 She told you happy, told you happy birthday? Yeah. That was, that was sweet. Yeah. I'm happy. Because yeah. Okay. Feeling good. Looking good. Mm, yeah. I'm tissy as fuck. So let me tell y'all what happened. So I order from the waitress. I order a little little piece of little salmon and you know tomatoes and a little um alfredo sauce on it. I mean it's just fine. I got some more right here, right? And I told her, I said, bring me one glass of wine. No, I said I told her to bring me two glasses of wine because I want to order my wine at the same time because I don't want to be looking for no waitress to keep coming back and forth to me. I ain't got time for that. And so they bring me um, the first glass, and then they bring me a second glass, and then they bring me a third glass, and then they bring me a fourth. I'm like, wait a minute now, I didn't ask for all of this. 
and they like somebody paid for your tab already and they like you know just keep bringing you a glass every time you know your glass is empty i'm like what <laughs> I'll take that. I'm like, I know that's right. Whoever, whoever fucking paid for it, thank you. You know what I mean? I like when when when, when people pay for my tab and I don't know who they are. <laughs> it makes the night even more sweeter. You know what I mean? But Dave was a vibe tonight. Dave was a vibe. The microphone was on. I love me some Dave Hollister. He gives such a churchy vibe like girl i gotta go it sound like a choir <laughs> that nigga sound like a choir for real i love me some dave hollister i'm so glad i came um i've been wanting to see dave for a long time like when did i see dave i saw dave when he was in chicago um when he was with tank i had flew home to chicago for the weekend and i wound up going to a concert and it was tank concert but he had um black street and he had dave hollister opening so it was just it was just a vibe like buddy this right here was going really crazy tonight for Dave. Like, she was really going crazy. I want to tell her. Okay, Light Bill. <laughs> I know I paid you. <laughs> Don't get the blanket on the bitch. <laughs> Don't get the blanket on me. You know what I mean? I know I paid that bill. Has bill. I'm the only one in this motherfucker. And yet, the bill is damn near $300. Like, I don't get it. I got so much she's like a motherfucker. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? Poison in the body. You can't we can't continue to poison our bodies like that. But you should really drink water because water is the cure. I think water cure for cure for everything. Remember when our mamas used to be like <laughs> we were like, I got a headache, they were like, drink some water. <laughs> I get it now. You know what I mean? I get it. You gotta drink some water, so you know, but, um, I think, um, I think I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> I think I need to lay down. <laughs> I think I need to fucking lay down because I'm fucking, mm. I just can't do it. I just ain't got drunk. Tonight by myself, like. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds depressing. <laughs> and I hear a lot of men say a lot of times, like, oh, a woman that's a little older is more difficult, and this and that, and third. And I get what they mean, you know what I mean? Because me, I know exactly what I want, and yes, I'm set in my ways. Like, so really, honestly, if you don't, if you don't like the person that I am now, like my personality-wise and my character then that's too bad because I'm not about to change that for you. I can't, you know what I mean? I can't, I love I love that person that I am and I don't wanna change that, you know what I mean? I can see if I was all fucked up person mentally and all over the place, then yeah, but that, no. But what we can do is we can grow together as far as like, you know, catering to each other and, you know, growing as far as like money and business is concerned, like that's, that's the thoughts that come through my head when I think of being in a, another relationship again. You know what I mean? I don't want a man to want to change that, change my personality and my character. Like, no, enhance me financially. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Like, let's talk about the important things. You know what I mean? Like, enhance me financially so I can, you help me help us. That's it. You know what I mean? That's it. I'm coming up. You coming up. We coming up together. Let's do this. Two brains is better than one. That's all I'm saying. So that's, my thing when it comes to just, you know, dealing back in relationships again. So, yeah, I just, you know, I, I want to find my perfect person, my perfect match for me, you know, and I'm the match for them. Like, it's just that simple. And to the end, I'm not resting. <laughs> I'm not resting. I'm not resting. I hope I can come back later on in a few months and like, oh, y'all, he the one. I haven't even decided. Like, my birthday is less than a week away, and I'm just still sitting here like, I don't know what I'm doing. Everybody asking me what I'm doing for my birthday. And I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's just a day. <laughs> it's just a day for me. You know what I mean? I know I probably should be celebrating it, like really going all out. But it's just, honestly, it's a day for me. And it's just a day to reflect. It's a day wherever I'm at, wherever I decide to go. If I'm here or on the beach somewhere. It's just a day of reflecting for me. And um, just really feel, feeling blessed because I know a lot of people that I grew up with and went to school with they not even here you know what I mean not only that they going through so much in their life and you know they're just 
not in good health, good spirit, none of that. And so I'm just, I'm really thankful for that, most importantly. You know what I mean? Still seeing my son get older and, you know, it's just, it's amazing to watch. I was telling my girls tonight, like, man, wait till y'all kid, I was telling my homegirl, wait till your kid get 20. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God, like when they get in that age and you just, you can talk to them and they understand you because we got great relationships with our kids than our parents have with us. And it's just like, oh, it's so refreshing. Like, God is amazing, you know what I mean? And I feel lucky and I feel blessed to still be here, you know? My mom was telling me today, she was like, you look good, girl. For you to be turning 40, you look good. I said, yeah, ma, I feel good. Fuck looking good, I feel great. <laughs> Let's not forget, I feel great. You know what I mean? Like, I'm easing through life because at the end of the day, it's like, a lot of this shit, man, y'all, it's so out of our control sometimes. It's like, it's lessons in everything that go on in our life. Like, I was telling my son, you'll never have this life thing figured out. You can never figure this shit out. <laughs> when you think you got it figured out, here comes something, something's coming. <laughs> something's coming that's about to teach you a lesson. And you got to figure what the lesson is or you're going to have to repeat the cycle. And I ain't trying to repeat no more fucking cycles. And that's how I felt in my 30s. In my 30s, I felt like I didn't have to repeat no cycles in my 30s. Because I know, I know better. <laughs> I know better. You know what I'm saying? I know better financially. I know better friend-wise. I know better relationship-wise. I know better. You know what I mean? Family-wise, I know better. You know what I mean? And I didn't have to, I didn't have to go through nothing, no hardship in my 30s. And I thank God for that. You know what I mean? Because I feel like I'm coming out of that shit on top. And that's all you can ask for in your 30s. Like, so don't be stressed being in your 30s and shit, y'all. Like, no. Nah. The only thing you can ask for God is to do is to keep you in good health and good spirit. That's what you want. You know what I mean? In a piece of damn mind. <laughs> Let, imagine how, look at how many people commit suicide, y'all. Let's talk about it real quick. Look at how many people that take their own lives because they that fucking stressed out with life, bro. You know what I mean? Like, a person taking their own life. People that got kids and family that actually love them and need them, they took their lives because they just could not handle this thing we call life under pressure. That's all it is. It's pressure. That's all I'm saying, y'all. So, man, stay prayed up out here, man, and just not think about shit, the materialistic shit, because at the end of the day, none of that shit matter. Think about just having a peace of fucking mind. <laughs> peace of mind i know in my 20s i ain't had no peace of mind so i know when i having a peace of mind I feel like and that shit is stressful man that shit keep you up at night you can't even get a good night's nice rest because you got so much shit on your fucking conscience like no nah, man no nah. you need a peace of fucking mind pray for that everybody all oh, want to pray for millions i need millions in the bank that's my peace of mind no fuck that because them millions gonna bring you a goddamn headache <laughs> i mean i still want it you know what i mean don't get it twisted now i still want me some i still want me a check because it do bring a little bit of more peace them bills be quiet <laughs> because they pay. You know what I mean?